but we've briefly touched on the differences between today and the January 6th riot. But let's dive in deeper. Capitol Police were clearly more prepared to respond to any threats. News Nation's Evan Lambert is live in Washington. Evan, good evening to you. Aaron, good evening. Now, the main difference here was preparation from this seven foot fence behind me to the National Guard troops on standby. The crowd also was nonviolent, which left things relatively peaceful. So, listen, I want to lay out some ground rules before we get started here. At DC's Justice for J6 rally, rules set this protest apart from January 6th. Number one, is that there are uniformed officers here who you, you, I demand that you respect. Many feared a repeat of the deadly insurrection that plunged the Capitol and our democracy into chaos. But the rally in support of most January 6th defendants was largely peaceful and uneventful. Where's our justice? Except for several heated clashes with counter protesters. Probably the most important difference, preparation on behalf of Capitol Police and other local and federal law enforcement. One of the clearest images of how prepared law enforcement is for this rally are these officers here, Capitol Police officers with their weapons and their riot gear, all for a crowd that is relatively small, just about a few hundred people. So to me, we've now crossed the line from a trespassing charge to a political prisoner. That's how that looks to me. Capitol Police say about 400 people were in the protest zone, including many journalists. Just a fraction of the thousands here on January 6th. The protesters arguing Saturday that the nearly 600 people charged in the riots are being treated unfairly. Arizona congressional candidate Jeff Zink says his son Ryan was wrongfully arrested. He never went inside. He never had an engagement. So, but he's charged with uh, four charges, two felonies, two misdemeanors. But the FBI and federal prosecutors say that's not true. A charging document shows screenshots and quotes from the 32-year-old Texas man's own social media posts, one of which reads, quote, We stormed the Capitol. There's thousands of us here. They can't stop us all. And interestingly, we did not hear a rehashing of false claims about the election being stolen. One of the organizers saying this rally just was not about that.